today I'm at Wessex Water finding out how these cotton bud sticks get processed in our sewage works and how they end up getting out to sea. So this is the first stage of sewage treatment, this is the coarse screening, this is where we remove uh, inorganic material from the works um, and we treat it separately to all the organic material which happens. So what kind of things are we pulling out here? So uh, wet wipes, um, uh, sanitary products, um, cotton buds, condoms, anything that people chuck down the toilet. We've just seen a frog go past. So I'm stood in front of the piles of waste that's been screened off of the sewage and it's just, it does really, really smell. But it's piled up high with sanitary waste but also cotton buds are just full, it's stacked full of them. And this is waste which otherwise could have been used for compost and on farmland but it can't because it's polluted so it has to go and be incinerated or go to landfill. The cotton buds, they are, they are a bane of my life. Uh, we, we try to produce a compost here and as you can see all around, they, they're everywhere. Um, because we use a trommel, which is holes and it spins, they actually fall through. Um, we're trying to get it to go onto farmer's land so it's actually got back to where it should be, but we're going to have to take them out and we're going to have to find another way of removing them. It's not only our water companies that are paying the price of plastic cotton bud pollution, but our local wildlife is too. I decided to find out how cotton buds that we flush down the loo end up on our riverbanks, coastlines and in our seas. Um, CSOs act as a sort of pressure relief valve for the sewer system to stop properties from flooding uh, on combined sewer systems. That means combined sewage overflow? So combined, yes, yeah, CSO, combined sewage overflow. Um, and uh, the one we're looking at here is um, it's got a six mil screen, so that means it's got six mil holes in the screen. So anything smaller than six mil can get through that and end up in the watercourse. But because cotton buds, the plastic bits are so narrow, they can sometimes get through these holes, mm. even though they're very small holes. The following weekend I joined a local beach clean on the banks of the Avon and, with the help of a young volunteer, picked up all the cotton buds we could find in 250 metres. So now he's just emptying out the contents of his plastic bottle full of cotton buds. Hold them up, show the camera. Look at that, the whole bottle was, was absolutely full. So this is all the cotton bud sticks that we've collected on the Surface Against Sewage Autumn Big Spring Beach Clean and I think we're probably looking at around, what do you reckon, 600? How many do you reckon's in there? 700? About 1,000. Are you reckon about 1,000? Should we go count them? No. No? Is that, am I going to have to do that? Oh, thanks very much. 